five regions, 50 teams, over 1,800 matches per year. Onivia, League of Legends highlights heaven. Looking to shoot them down as they try to do it. It's going to definitely have the tools to make the dive happen, though. Realm Warp bringing in an Alistair into the back line, a Kennen and Olaf into the back line. Very scary. The Ezreal should be able to withstand the Oh, here's Medias. And here comes the play. They're going to land the headbutt, pulverize onto Wolf, who's going to run out of health pretty rapidly. No flash. And who do they give the kill to? It's going to go over to Sneaky. First blood into Cloud9 against SK Telecom T1. Very close there, too. Medios had into Medios' jungle. He went Tracker's Knife first item and is trying to make sure he knows where this Olaf is going. And there's the root on a sneaky, a trade knock up on the wolf. Ulti across, but Lucas with the health oh. is running dangerously low. They're gonna trade back on the bang the heal so he doesn't get crit down. But bang is level six, and here is the curtain call, and here is Faker. The victor is in. He wants this one, and he grabs it. Now it's for sneaky. Good flash to get away, but it's still a chaos storm hitting. The laser gonna come across. The thundering blow, but look at this. The flash, the head buff, Paul Bryce. Here comes the dive. Do they have the damage? Of course they do. Cloud nine, two to one, it kills. And just as you expected, Kobe. C9 is playing through their strengths. They Medios gonna walk into a 1v2 fighting for his own jungle, but it's actually gonna be a turnaround as Jensen's joining as well. The burst damage, what a flash by Faker getting out of range for now. And it's Blank who's alone. Smoothie gonna land the combo into the burst, and Jensen finally gets revenge on Faker. SKT and ease this game is close. And oh, the re-engage on to Wolf, plenty damage, a great flash to dodge. Sneak is gonna be careful, he's taking way too much damage, and he's gonna lose his life on this one, but we're still gonna have some re-engage as Wolf has been killed off as well. It's 4-2 to two overall on this one. Bang now forced to run away as that were a little bit more to the right from Wolf. Now look for a bit of a play. Meteor's in the back line looking for Bang who does not have a flash, but he's running out of health. The Alistair Pulverize not doing a ton of damage right now as Duke is pretty safe to land the poke. A root on a smoothie and sneaky down to one third. Meteos almost dead and here's the curtain call and it could be just that for C9. Looking for the damage. They picked up one already. Can they get more? A quick knock up on a Jensen. The chase down for Duke and he's got a flash back out with a hex breaker pop. Now impact wants in, but be careful. They survive that. Cloud9 still playing on that Razor's Edge. They try and contest the Dragon. Jumps forward on a Faker, a little bit of damage there. Look for the root back on a Sneaky. They find Jensen, and that's going to be a deletion, but it's going to be one back in the mix. As the top is down, Sneaky cannot quite kill one off. Looks for the Q, can't get it. Two for one so far in favor of SKT, but Medus is here to rejoin with Sneaky. The flash engaged by Faker, forcing the flash away from Sneaky. A trade Looking something. to maybe collapse on the Duke. Honestly, he doesn't want to walk into Fog of War. Oh, Engage the Duke King King. knocks up two. They cut out Sneaky, and he's got the damage. Faker gets the shutdown. Well played by SKT jungle this started out now smoothie gonna run out of unbreakable well he will be broken picked off blank getting his third kill of the game an immaculate engage and that's SKT being aware that there is no teleport on the cannon from C9 and honestly a beautiful opportunity not many Lee Sin players that would have went for that triple kick because it wasn't kicking anybody in their team but they basically took the bowling approach and you don't get too many mistakes like that this is the breaking point Cloud9 trying to contest the Baron three versus five Baron definitely doing plenty of damage SKT not high on ten Tanks, Blank is low. The Undertow gives vision. They know about how much threat there is right here in this one. 4,000 health on the Baron. Will C9 go for the play? The question is when they want to go in. Ooh. Realm Warp looking for the chance at a steal. Oh, but it's so not going to be in time. Great secure there by Blank. And it's Videos left alone inside the pit. Not going to get anything done. Flash engage on to Bang. Goodbye. Nicely set up Smoothie. And impact making a half, but guess what? Baker is still here. You might kill one of the carries, but SKT's got two more. What about the other one there? Jason the mid lane. Medios is after him. How much can Duke do to get out? As soon as that Ragnarok ends, it's gonna be the Thunder Glow to get rid of him. Bop down he goes, but the slow is still in for Sneaky. One more hit will do it, pops it, and there we go. A kill picked up. So two kills. See, bit of a fight. Jason a seed. Smoothie has to pop the ulti pretty early on. Gets the headbutt on the blank. Saves the pulverize for later. Lands it here. The kickback on the support, but it'll be a trade of jungle for support. No! Blank gets out. Beautifully done. Secures one kill. Now, how is the re-engage gonna look? True shot barrage gets very little damage across. They're waiting for impact to join from the far back. Being punished for entering two choke points, but they have to get there. The barons with half HP already. Six thousand health remains. The, oh, the cooldowns from Meteos got the cooldowns from Smoothie Dawn. It's mostly up to impact now on the cannon. Down to the, the bottom left. Nice slows by Sneaky Vine. Gonna find Smoothie wants in. Three men not gonna have the damage. Those Strangle Thorns gonna hit nobody. They find Blank. It's one kill already though. On to Smoothie. A kill back on the wall. Both supports dead. Duke running away. Picked off, but a double kill for Faker. It's back and forth chaotic. And it's gonna be the escape as well for Blank. Two damage dead. build that he's got. Oh, and still, those two objectives on the table here. SKT don't really fancy. Realm War brings in the Alistair. Can they find the play? Oh, it's huge! They've shut down Faker. Do they get anything else, though? The kill comes back and bang does.
does so well. Curtain call plus for the disengage. How well can C9 withstand this smooth? He's gonna lose his life with this shield. He's gonna take the final shot. He gives his life to let Jensen run away, it looks like. But that is still a positive trade. SKT with the two to one, even with Faker dead at the start. Jensen looking for the re-engage. He sees a little bit with Bang, but he's gonna lose his life. The root's gonna land, and Bang makes the big play. The trade back of the Guardian Angel. Sneaky, losing his life as well. It's multiple kills in for SKT, only for the Guardian. So well with Faker immediately being removed off the map, but then Jensen at the end, he really felt that range disparity between him and the Jin. Walked up backwards, walked up again, so close to finishing Bang off there, but in the end, he just couldn't quite get the kill, and that means Baron for SKT. Very well secured. He just used the Baron buff to reset one more time, buy the items, and play for the Zelda. So much damage, they can burn through it as well. Cloud9, really rough for them to try and get back there. I think SKT have this. They're gonna look for it. 2,000 health on this one. Shouldn't be a concern. And it's not. Nicely played. An attempt by Z Ward into the jungle. It's going to be the Alistair, the Olaf, looking for the play. Can they get the damage they need? Head up, Pulverize catches only on the blank. They've already killed off Smoothie. That's not enough here for C9. Sneaky getting caught out. He's in danger. He can go down. And he does. Blank is on a rampage. Two for zero. Now a double kill for Bang. Make it three already. Meteor's going to lose it. And impact is not going to be enough. A single kill doesn't matter enough. Sure, he walks away, but... SKT in complete control, looking to close out the game. Major props to SKT shot calling there. Their shot calling and the flank awareness is what won them the fight. Wolf single-handedly kept impact out of the fight, and C9 could not pull the trigger. Beautifully done. Onto the turrets they go. SK Telecom T1, the defending world champions, move on to three and one in the group. They are in the driver's seat, and C9 has to wait another game to get that first win. The discipline and late game poise of the world champions showing through. And SKT earned their victory here today. Definitely a well played game. It was held close. You have to commend Cloud9's ability to defend for so long, but still, that stranglehold was never given up. To play an almost entirely squishy composition, to navigate these cannon flanks so incredibly well, that requires so much skill. Wolf single-handedly delaying Impact's flank at the end. The ability to say, oh, Realm Warp's coming, and smashing those champions in the...